Well, welcome to the Roving Crafters. I'm Jen, and it's Sunday, so that must make this Sunday stitch. And on this Sunday, we're going to work on our decreases in knitting. We're going to work specifically on those decreases that lean to the left. Set here, 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 and these are the ones that lean to the left. And they kind of stand out to the eye, don't they? There's also the right-leaning decreases here, here, and here. And if you think of decreases as brothers, if you think of them as twins, the right leaners are the good twin and the left leaners are the evil twin. And they're the evil twin because they don't sit quite flat. You can see like here is a left leaning decrease and here's a second, third, and fourth. In patterns, most of the time, 99% of the time, when you need a left leaning decrease, the pattern will tell you to do a slip slip knit. And these are slip slip knits done in the traditional way. And then I've got two sets here with my with the modification that I like to use here and here. And I think you'll agree that they're not perfect, but they sure are an improvement. So let me go through this next row and I'll do a traditional slip slip knit here and then I'll do my modified version here and here. Okay, so a traditional slip slip knit. You slip these two stitches and then you knit them together. And traditionally you slip them knit wise, both of them knit wise. If you're not sure what that means, it means you go into this stitch as if you're going to knit it, but you don't, you don't knit it. You just slip it off. And you do the same traditionally to the second. Go in as if to knit, but don't knit. Just slip off. Then to finish this decrease, you take your left tip and push it into the front fronts of those two slipped stitches and then knit them together. And that's a slip slip knit. Of course, this is a knit two together. I'm just working my way over to the next spot. All right. So here's my modification. There are lots of different modifications knitters have come up with. And I like this one because it's effective and easy and not fussy. So now I'm going to work my modified slip slip knit. And you slip the first stitch. It's worked over these two stitches. And you slip the first stitch the same way we did back here. Go in as if to knit, but don't knit, and slip. The difference comes in the way you slip this second stitch. You don't go in through the front loop. You don't use the front loop. You use the back loop. And you come in at it from the left side like that so that you are slipping it and twisting it as you go. If you've ever done a purl through the back loop, it's just like that. You go in through the back loop. Think of it as coming in on the wrong side of the back loop, like that. And if you'll notice, now that you're twisting this stitch, if you pull this right needle towards you a little bit like that and separate them, this first slip stitch pulls tight and closes some. And then you slip off. And then you take your left tip and go into the fronts of those two, just like you're used to. Knit two together and off. I'm going to work my way over to the next spot. So you're going to get a couple chances to see this. Do it again. Work over these two stitches. That's where my decrease happens. Slip the first as if to knit. Slip the second as if to purl through the back loop and then pull the right needle towards you a little bit to close this first stitch up some and then slip off and then go through the front of those two slip stitches and knit them together and that's it and once you get used to the movement it's almost as fast and easy and smooth as a traditional slip slip knit I believe in showing people again and again so I'm going to do my wrong side, 
and then meet you back at the beginning of the front. Okay. Ready to do it all again? Good. Here we're going to work the traditional slip slip knit. The messy one. Slip as if to knit, slip as if to knit, go through the front, knit two together. My modification. Slip as if to knit, slip as if to purl through the back loop, pull towards you, slip off, through the fronts, knit two together, and off. One last time. Slip as if to knit, go in as if to purl through the back loop, pull towards you, slip off, in through the fronts, and knit two together. I think you should I think you should try it. I think you'll like it. I'm not saying that it's the best, smoothest, most professional looking left leaning decrease, but it's nice and it's easy to pull off. There you go. I think it makes a nice alternative. Here versus here. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you'll come back for the rest of the Sunday stitches. Till next time.